your day. Welcome back to Science Lesson for P4 students with me, Miss Rosa. Today, we are going to have a new discussion in Chapter 4 about different habitats. Are you ready for the lesson? Let's start! In this topic, you will have two lessons. First one, animals and their habitats. And the second one, surviving habitats. So, the first one, animals and their habitats. You will know that different animals are found in and suited to different habitats. You can open the student's book page 58 until 65. What is a habitat? So, it's a place where a living thing lives. We have two different habitats here. So for the first one, the ocean, this is the habitat for the fish and also the coral. And can you see the second picture? This is the rotting log. That's the habitat for the mushrooms. Now, can you see this big one? So, what is this? A habitat can consist of smaller habitat, for example, this garden so in this garden has a pond and then rock and soil so that's also the habitat for other living things so can a living thing be a habitat of other living things yes possible can you take a look for this example this tree has a, uh, is a habitat for other smaller plants such as the fern here it's also the habitat for the bacteria, fungi, and animals such as ants and birds. So, is our body also a habitat for other living things? Yes. So, many kinds of bacteria and fungi live in our skin, in various parts of our body. Some bacteria can make us sick, but some are useful. For example, bacteria that live in our intestines in the stomach here help break down our food. The other example, the garden. Can you find what plants and animals can you find here? Right, butterfly, bird, spider, and then you have snail, dove, and also the otter. How about in the seashore? What plants and animals can you find here? So, crab, and then shells, and then starfish, sea anemone, and then sea grass, and sea eagle. In the desert, you can have the rat, and then camel, and then here is tarantula, rattlesnake, and fan of fox. While in the tropical forest, you have thousands snake and then tiger orangutan and other uh, insects different habitats will have different environment so for example in the water so freshwater habitats such as lake pond and river but in the marine habitat will be different such as in the sea and ocean there is salty water there and then land so, uh, on the land, we have rainforest that is humid, warm climate, and lots of trees and high amount of rain. While in Arctic, is tree less cold and harsh habitat. And then grassland, for example, here, less trees but more grass, hot and dry, and then very low rainfall. In the desert, is extremely hot and dry and can be cold at night and then the woodland it's green shady covered with trees now the second one surviving habitats you will know plants and animals can survive in environments other than their habitats so you can open the student book page 66 until 71 so can plants and animals live in other environments can you see this examples, friends? The cacti. So, you will find the cacti usually in the desert, right? But however here, they can also survive in the environments that are humid. So, you can find the cacti here in the, in the garden. Can be outdoor or indoors like this. And the other example, the grass. So, the grass here can be found in the areas that have some rainfall 
so example the forest here but here it can also survive in environment which less a water or a little rainfall in the grassland or in the desert like this pine trees grow in cold environment however they can also survive in the environments which is warmer temperature so for example the forest the rainforest and also along the beach for the animals the deer deer here the habitat will live where the habitat has a lot of trees but here they can also survive in grassland or mountain and then apple snails are best suited to swamps However, they can also survive in different aquatic habitats such as here you can find in the rice fields and then in the ponds and also the beaches. So that's all for our discussion today. So we will discuss more about this topic, different habitats in the class. Thank you so much friends for paying attention for this lesson. See you again and bye everyone.